So I thought I'd just give my immediate reaction to Canelo versus Belanga. And my first thoughts are, I mean, it was a good little scrap, wasn't it? Like, it was an exciting fight. As much as we all gave Canelo a lot of stick for choosing, you know, the inexperienced Belanga over a, you know, a Benavidez or a Bivol rematch. You know, so this fight wasn't great for his legacy. But in terms of, like, you've got to think, maybe Canelo was just thinking about the fans. You know, for a fan fight, it was great. You know, Mexico, Puerto Rico, you got a young, arrogant, undefeated power puncher who thinks he can take you on. I mean, stylistically, it always makes for a better fight when someone's coming to put it on you. Because, you know, if they're going to punch you, you can counter them. There's none of this, you know, just, like, stiffening up and not fighting a bit like Charlo did. So... I think it was an exciting fight, although maybe, you know, it's not another name that's really going to cement Canelo's legacy as, you know, one of the greatest of all time. You know, got like move his way up in the list of the greatest of all times that, you know, Ben Rudez was. I think for the fans, it was a great fight, you know, it was an exciting scrap. Canelo looked good. I thought... You could see at times Belanga's corner were thinking about pulling him out because he took a lot of shots to the head. Like, apparently it looked like he was, you know, falling asleep, like kind of on the stool in between rounds. So maybe kind of slightly unlucky not to get, you know, a stoppage. And you have to think like, you know, taking those shots from Canelo probably took years off his life. But his stock will have increased after that. You know, he's got a Caleb Plant fight, you know, right around the corner of Belanga if he wants it. Maybe Ke maybe Canelo's going to go for the Caleb Plant rematch. And to be fair, like, his chin did hold up, you know, Belanga. He did get dropped, but he didn't look too hurt, did he? It was more like he just didn't see the shot coming and it took him by surprise. Then, you know, he got, you know, completely walloped and his legs went wobbly. So, yeah. And in terms of, like, you know, like the boxing versus MMA, like, tension, it was a good night for boxing, right? Because apparently the MMA... What was it? It was Sugar Son versus Marab. That was a bit of a snooze fest, apparently. I think sometimes with those like world title fights, it's a bit like in boxing, not, not, not boxing, a bit like football, isn't it? When you get to like the Champions League final and both teams are so scared of losing that, you know, like it's really, really kind of a bit dull and, you know, no one's willing to take any risks. That's what those title fights are like sometimes, whereas if you look at someone like Michael Chandler in MMA, not a world champion, but he always he has like nothing to lose, right? So he fights like a maniac and he's been in some like incredible fights. If you watched, you know, his fights against, you know, Poirier, you know, all of those guys in this division, he's always in, you know, crazy exciting fights. Um, but yeah, all in all, I thought it was, I thought it was a good night for boxing. It was an exciting fight. And if not great, if it doesn't do anything for Canelo's legacy, a great fight for the fans, great stylistic matchup. Good night for boxing to get some more fans over MMA. And I think, I haven't seen the undercard, but I think it sounds like Lara versus Garcia was a bit of a snooze fest. I mean, they're both so old. I couldn't believe they were fighting for a belt, but it was nice to see Caleb Plant get the win as well. You know, um, I mean, trash talk is trash talk, but you could tell it was like kind of affecting him that, you know, like, McCumbie, his, you know, brother was calling him a, a bum, a quitter. So I'm sure it would have been nice for Caleb Plant to come back for the stoppage. And that looked like a, I thought that was a good stoppage. You know, nothing was coming back. He was clearly just out on his feet. And like the minute the ref stopped it, you know, he like literally fell into the ropes. So some people said it was an early stoppage, but I, I was really happy with the stoppage, to be honest. Especially in America, sometimes, like, they wouldn't need to, like, die in there. Like, I remember Anderson versus Bacoli. Like, Anderson got dropped three times, and still they just let him continue. But it is what it is. So, yeah, maybe I'll do a... I might do a full, a more detailed breakdown later on in the week. But I just thought I'd come on and give my immediate reaction while everyone's talking about it. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.